everyone. Welcome to Space Junkies, our live stream for the wonderful day of launch. This is an amazing day for all of us. Yay! We're launching. We haven't gone to the bar yet, so everyone's a winner, so we can still play the game. Okay, so let's go. So basically, we apologize first and foremost to some of those beta testers or beta players that tried to join, and unfortunately, due to an authentication error, were unable to play the game during the beta. But it's okay now, because we're live! So now you can play! You've had a result! Have you? You have. Uh, so, you know, obviously betas are there for all that kind of things. We do apologize, but we're there to fix everything and make your experience the most pleasurable as possible. Okay, so let's go. Now I've got two of my players. We're going to start with different modes. We're going to walk you through several activities within the game. Uh, we have four different modes. We have duel, which is one-to-one -one love. And then we have 2v2 team deathmatch. Then we have the king mode. Uh, and then we have, of course, just to finish it all off in joy and pleasure, free for all, every man, woman, and alien for themselves. Okay, so let's get going. Uh, here I am with my first two contestants, which are looking very beautiful as always. There's my Junker. Junker. Hello. As you can see, he's on Oculus Rift, and he's showing all his wonderful hand gestures and just playing the game. Uh, there is the son of Kessler showing a bit of love. Hey, and showing his big gun. That's beautiful. Okay, let's get going. So uh, obviously there's different equipment, different stuff that you can play with. So what I want to show you first and foremost is we will have 15 characters. We will have seven guns, six maps, and we are completely crossplay. That's right, completely crossplay in VR from PSVR, Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, and Windows Mixed Reality. It's a beautiful time, and basically you can see all that information right now while you're watching the stream at the bottom if you want more information and details. Okay, let's go straight in for the armory. Armory, or before, do we want to show a trailer? Do we, should we show a trailer? No, let's show the armory. Let's go straight in. Show the armory. Get in there. Okay, so here you go. In the armory, it's a great little advantage. Remember, this game is based on two slots on your side, like a gunslinging spacer. And then you have two equipments that appear over your shoulders. Now, you can select these in the armory. This appears on your watch. So you look at your right hand or your left hand, depending on what configuration you've put in the beginning, or on the trackpad on Sony PSVR. This is how you access it, and therefore you can select different equipment. We have things like the Solar Sword, uh, the EMP, a sonar, uh, a drinky liquid that makes you feel better inside and outside. We have lots of different stuff in the equipment. You have to play with the different configurations, and that combination will give you an advantage on the space battlefield. So keep that in mind. Same thing with gun allocation. Now, every gun runs out of ammo, and then you've got to go get a new one. But you can combine them because you've got two hands, which is always pretty cool. Uh, so this and your character selection space, uh, happens in the armory, so don't forget, each character has its own specificities. Okay, I don't know how to say the word, but you know what I mean. So basically, you have stamina, health, armor, and all the rest of it. Pick your player. It will define who you are as a spacer. Okay, so let's get ready. The best way to learn is to play. So get your puppies in this game now, and let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to go to a first duel and show a map selection. Come on, the Kessler. Get into the game, and let's go. There he is again. That's brilliant. Don't forget, you can actually go to our Discord and talk to anyone. Give us advice. Give us tips. Tell us what you think. Say what you want. Tell us about your love life, your friend life. Tell us everything. Education. It's all important. Right, let's jump into the game. Get in there, gentlemen, and let's show them what you got. So here I'm using our caster mode. Now the caster mode is only really designed for sort of esports and stuff that we'll, I'll talk a little bit about later. Uh, but it basically just allows us to have a free cam and show you different aspects of the game, such as an over the shoulder mode, such as a selfie mode, and such as an FPS mode. Well, let me go on the OTS mode to start. Uh, obviously I can make the intels appear. What happens, they have selected, I believe, factory. Is it factory, gentlemen? Yeah. Yay, there we go, we're in the factory, here we go. So as you can see, loading times are pretty damn quick. That's pretty cool, hey. Jump through the airlock, you, play, you get a free weapon every time you jump into a map and every time you respawn. As you can see, he's picking up armor. Uh, that's the gold shields that you'll see in the game. And he's already hit contact. So I'll show you a bit about the intel as well. What happens is when you hit that line of sight on the first player, when you see them in the distance, his intel will appear for a period of time on your screen. He's just launched the EMP. Oh, and he's been taken out. How very unlucky, and he's showing how rock and roll he is, little Red Kessler. He's picked up the slingshot, now he's in the lead by one to nothing, and now he's running away. He's going to position himself at the other side of the map. Now, the slingshot is a two-handed weapon. Uh, it's a little bit different on PSVR, because actually you, you don't have that secondary hand for loading, but it's still powerful and dominant when you're far away, if you're precise. Now, this is important. 
Now here he is like ducking and weaving through these little things. He's going to cut through the robot hands. We are in the factory, one of the most uh, sort of conclusive uh, maps that's very full of items to hide behind. It's a very much hide and seek map. Now the paint, oh there we go, he's straight in on the slingshot, he's going to hunt him down. Give me a minute, give me a minute. Oh and he snuck underneath. As you can see his intel appears on our caster, but he doesn't know where he is. So he's launching EMPs randomly, is, is our little blue player. He doesn't know what to do anymore. He's coming in for the kill. Is he going to be taken out? Oh, it's a double kill! Nice! Unlucky, gentlemen. So it's time to respawn back into the spawning capsule, or the airlock, as we call it. He's going to pick up the Ricochaker. Now, the Ricochaker is great in confined spaces because it rebounds off walls, rebounds off ceilings, rebounds off virtually anything. Hence the name, Ricochaker. Uh, oh, he's thrown the EMP straight out there. Come on, red team. Let's see what you got. Oh, he's now okay. Now you can see these are the lure. These are like basically claymores that repeat and show the exact movements of your character. Uh, these will explode in proximity of an enemy opponent. So please keep that in mind. Oh, and he's managed to defuse that. See you later, alligator. Very nice. There we go. Wave to the camera, please, blue team. Show me some love. Show me some love. Okay, here we go. Back to the red team. We'll go back in. I'll show you one of the other modes. There we go. There we go. Okay, that's the self mode. And we'll go straight into that, which is the first person mode. So this just gives you an idea of the different things. Obviously, in VR, you're in a spherical battlefield, so, and it moves. Oh, he's already dead. Give me a chance to speak. And he gave him a round of applause and a little wave. That's very kind of him. Okay, so he's got the MP. You can see that. Now, that basically does lots of weird stuff. So just keep that in mind. Okay, here we go. He's, okay, this is the Cosmic Ripper. This is your Arnold Schwarzenegger weapon. And basically, you use two hands and you kill people. You can also use it in two separate hands if you want, but it's a little bit slower. It's much more precise with a two-handed weapon. So keep that in mind when you're flying around and jet fighting your way through space. Let me show you the score. So it's still 3-2, so Red's got to do something pretty quick because there's only two minutes left. Oh, watch those crunchers in the factory as well. They will kill you. They will squish you like a little pancake. Okay, let's go rolling. One minute, 57 left. Blue team's still ducking and weaving. He's trying to get a bit of extra arm. Oh, red team's gone for the plasma rifle. He loves a bit of plasma. Boom, straight to the dinks. Okay, let's go in, let's go in. I'll show you where, where, okay. As you can see, covers, you're using that six degrees of freedom. So everything that you're peeking and weaving and ducking and moving is translated in real time. So that's one of the big advantages. So, oh my gosh, golly gosh, the red team takes him out. It's three versus three. Lordy me, that hurt. He felt that one, I feel. I really do, he feel. Okay, pick up some hearts, get some energy. He needs to build up some life before he respawns because he's got one minute left and it's all level. Red team's coming in now. He's gonna watch, he's gonna try and protect his flanks. Now, don't forget, the red team doesn't see what I'm seeing on the caster mode, so I know where the blue team is, but I'm not going to tell him, okay? Here we go. So they're preparing, their, they're having a little switch. Now, as you can see, frags are few and far between in the dual mode. It's a lot more calm, a lot more stressful. Oh, and he's done it. Blue team's taken out the red team, and the game is on with 48 seconds left, 43 seconds, 42 seconds, you name it, it's coming down. Not much left. Let's go, go, go. Blue team. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. Let me go into FPS mode. Let's see what's going on. So this is what he sees virtually. Okay, so he's going to fly around. He's going to try and keep a strong position at a higher angle. And he's going to try and take out 30 seconds left. Is he going to manage? Oh, my lordy me. He has done it. The blue team is a wonder. He's a joy. He's so beautiful. And he's won. I think that game's in the bag. He's got 19 seconds unless he's very quick, very flighty. I think this game is done. But now it's all to play for. Red team has to show him that at least he has the courage to take him out one last time. Straight on the EMP. 10 seconds left. He better roll. And he takes him out again. It's a humiliating day at the office for blue team. Oh, my gosh. See you later, alligator. So that's the end of Jewel. Uh, that blue team is one, obviously six to three. Unfortunate for some, unfortunate for many. And there we go. Okay, that's the first one done. I'm excited about that. Don't know about you, but that was we wanted to get the sort of more pacey one out of the way. 
and just show you some of the different modes that we've got. Uh, now we're going to roll into something a bit more spectacular. Uh, we're going to go for the team deathmatch. Now, we are playing with dev team here, so they do take this very seriously. So if you hear bad language, it's not me, it's them, okay? Uh, sometimes they get a little bit carried away, they get a little bit overexcited, but it happens. So also now, so we're, they're playing in a private session. We're also going to show you how they invite new friends. Oh, look, there's love. So they're going to invite their new friends on their watch. You go to your watch. Obviously, you've connected by Uplay and all the rest of it. So you click on your watch, and you knew by your little buddy. Uh, just a couple things about the lobby. Uh, we did some prototypes in the early stages, and we did this game. We, we called it side of the Rocket League in space. So big up the guys at Rocket League. We love you. Uh, and it's basically a giant beach ball that you're going to get through those big goals. Um, it just scores <laughs> little points, and it's always a bit of fun. But we left it in to amuse you all in this time. Okay, so let me uh, get in there, gentlemen. Say hello. Say hello. Pick your equipment. Get yourselves ready. Make yourselves beautiful. And then get yourselves in that ready room, gentlemen. Are you all in? Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Team Deathmatch. So as some of the people who played in earlier versions of the game, you'll see our map selection. We've put all the modes in this map selection, and you can cycle through. This is constantly evolving. Uh, we're trying to make it as seamless as possible for you guys. Uh, it's very different. Uh, so here, typically, we are going to play a different map. So that's how you select the other map. And then we're going to go into Dark Eyes. Oh, Dark Eyes is one of my favorite maps as well. Now you can see this is the team selection. Here you simply shoot and select which team, whether you want to be blue or red. There we go. OK, get in there, gentlemen. Dark Eyes is about to rock and roll. This is a great map. It's basically a circular map. A lot of breakable ice and items, a lot of hidden passageways, a lot of ducking and weaving, a lot of hide and seek going on in this one. It's all to play for. You can go vertical at any time. Watch how you go. Straight away, he gets the plasma rifle. So he's going to be a little bit sneaky, I think. So I'm going to stick on the intel and put you in OTS mode for the time being until you get a range of the maps. Let's see what happens. Now, this one shows up. Man. Remember, our, cast, our caster mode is still work in progress, so we're constantly building. So, so this might, might come across for you guys on the stream a little bit darker than normal. Uh, when you're actually playing, you'll see it's quite illuminated and stuff like that, so don't worry too much. Um, these are the trials and tribulations of testing things live. Here we go. So he's up, the, up high and looking good. Blue team's already got two kills, and I completely missed him because I was too busy talking about something else. It's very hard to be a caster sometimes. There we go. There's the blue team. Oh, my lord, the blue team are hunting that red team down. Mean, mean, mean. How do you get this Oh, the blue team got straight out. Lovely, 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 lovely. So here we're going for gold now, four player. What is it? Oh, and then we've got, let's go play split, two player, and there we go, stick it on there. Ah, the four players. <laughs> okay, he's going for gold now. Now we've got four players, two team on the bottom. The bottom red team have just been both taken out by the blue team. There is no mercy in this round. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's five to one. It's a massacre total for the red team. I'm very disappointed in how the red team at the moment. They seem to be struggling. Anyone would think that this is the first time they play the game. Come on, gentlemen, let's get rolling. Red team, this is for the launch, and it's all to play for. Whoever wins this wins a bottle of champagne. Okay, red team is still dominating largely. Oh, blue team, what's going on now? Come on, come on, come on. Red team's on the rampage. Blue team is giving nothing back in this game. Let's do something special, gentlemen. Blue team's on the prowl. Blue team's on the prowl. Red team, come on, show us what you got. Red team's gone again. Oh my lordy me, they're double teaming. So team deathmatch is very much about playing with your friend. So make sure you work, communicate, and work together to take out and flank enemies. Now, one of the great things about TV2 is that you really work together as a team, and you really challenge the other team in terms of where they're moving, whether it's vertical or horizontally. So you can flank them, and you can cut through behind through the secret passageways. Keep that in mind when you're playing. Obviously, one day we will add more players, so don't worry. I've heard that question so many times on the, on the forum so far, but don't worry. It's on its way. Just be patient. You have a whole season of joy and wonder ahead of you. The blue team is still way in the lead, so red team, they better do something magical. Let's, follow, let's see what they're doing, because red team seems to be asleep at the moment. Now they're, okay, now they're doubling up, now they're taking out the blue team. There we go, they're ca it's catch-up time. Red team is starting to work better together. They're going to start working through the corridors and trying to see... Oh, he's just sent out a sonar. 
sneaky, sneaky. So that sonar is a narrow point of like field of view. It just increases what you can see in that space. So it doesn't highlight the intel across the whole map, but just in that focal point of view. So keep that in mind when you're using Red Team has gone down again. Oh my lord, gentlemen, sons of Kessler, you're being punished. Armory, blue team are recovering the armor quickly. And they're getting that love. As you can see, they're really working the map together. They're moving around consistently and using that verticality to punish the enemies. Let's do it, gentlemen. Come on, there he goes. He's got him, he's got him cornered in that tunnel. Let's see if he can get out of there. Oh, he snuck right out. And he's moved to vertical. He's taking the advantage up at the top. Can he take him out? Can he take him out? No, he's got him out. Unbelievable. Red team are suffering. It, now, don't forget, in Team Deathmatch, it's first to 15, or the highest number of frags win. So keep that in mind. And here we go again. I don't know what Red Team are doing today. I say they're really, really struggling. I feel kind of bad for them. I feel, I feel cheap, dirty, and used that they've lost so badly. And it's not even over. There's still a minute left for Blue Team to destroy them. And I don't think they're... Oh! <laughs> Finally, Red Team gets another kill. I bet he's happy about that. He'll be telling his wife and kids tonight. Here we go. Rolling, rolling, Kessler. Can they pull back a couple points just for, 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 for the sake of it? Really, to be honest. I think this match is over, but let's see if anything else. Okay, Red Team's coming back a little bit. They're going to pull back a couple points quickly. Here we go. It's all the play for. It's all the play for. Oh, no, the Blue Team takes out a kill, and he's missed his shot. 30 seconds left, 12 to 6. Will they get to the magic number 15? 15 is fun for friends and fun for everyone. Red Team is still getting hammered. That's 13 to 6. Two more kills left. Come on, let's see the 15. We don't see it very often, but I do love to see it every now and again. Will Red Team do anything special in this last minute? No, they won't. That's 14. Nine seconds to go. I think the blue team have got this firmly in the bag, and they have shown no mercy. Oh, one kill. One final kill. I guess you're only as good as your last kill, aren't you, Red Team? Well done, boys and girls. It's been amazing. That was a great team death match. That score, though, oof, lots of frags. And I'm afraid you got punished, Red Team, really badly. But it was a beautiful game, and I appreciate everything you've done. Okay, so that's the Team Deathmatch. A lot of you guys played that in the beta version. Um, so I hope you had a lot of fun with that one. We're going to go into, now we're going to go into King Mode. Now this is really much working together. If you don't work together in this one, basically you capture a crown, you defend that teammate, and you t defend him to the death. You, you draw enemy fire. It's very tactical. Use of the lures here, just a little tip for some of you players out there, really works well, particularly in maps where there's lots of corridors and so on and so forth. So keep that in mind. Everyone's back in the lobby having a little fly around. Get yourselves prepared. And then, as we don't have much time, let's jump straight in to the king mode. King mode! Okay, boys and girls, get in there quickly. There we go. That's what we wanted. Straight in. Okay, what we playing, what we playing? Oh, we're going to go straight for factory in king mode. This one is hardcore, lots of corridor, interior maps, not a lot of open spaces, corridors and gore, baby. Here we go. Okay, team up and get stuck up. Let's get a gun. Okay, so he's dual wielding his sun blasters. Very nice. He's picked up a ricocheter. Oh, he's picked up two ricocheters, so he's going to be gunning for everyone. I'll keep it in this mode for now. As you can see, the intels have just popped up, so you can see he's going to hunt down that red team straight away. There we go, red team, blue team's already got the first kill. Oh, now the crown is still not spawned yet. I do believe the crown is somewhere. Let's see where he's at. Okay, straight in there. Oh, you've selected it. Ah, there's the crown, there he is. Blue team's picked it up. So there's a time on the crown, he's picked it up. Now the blue team's gonna defend his partner. Let's keep it tight. Now everyone sees, oh, the red team's already taking it over and blue team's already getting frustrated. They're already having a bad day. Red, blue team's taking it back. Very well done, gentlemen. Well done, well done. Okay, now as you can see, every enemy can see where you are at with that crown. So they're gonna hunt you and only you. If, if they can do, they will get you as fast as humanly possible. Oh, look, he's planting a couple of lures there. Very tactical, very tactical. Move it around, move it around. And it's shot, shotgun straight in the head from the blue team. Ouch, ouch, ouch. I don't hear very many communication between these two out there. Oh, there, the blue team straight in for another kill. Ouch. Blue team are dominated. They're holding that crown. They're not giving anything away today. Nothing away. As you can see in the intel, as you can see on the top, that crown is calculating points. It's like on a timer. So the more you keep it, the more points you get. So you've got to hold it as long as you can. Here we go. Blue team's coming in. Let me swap over to the red team as well. And the blue team are coming in, defending everything on the left-hand side. 
Okay, let's go, TS. Red team are coming in now. They better start playing. There we go. They've taken out one. Now they got to double team that crown and turn that frown upside down. Come on, red team. Let's see what you got. There you go. Red team are happy, 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 happy. They've got a lot of way to go, but as long as they play smart now, they could defend that crown for the entire match. Let's see what they do. Let's see what tactics they pull into play. Blue team are going to be start swarming around. There we go. Blue team are straight in on them. They're not giving anything away. Straight in on the MP. They've shot him straight in the head, and they're going for the king. Going for the king, and they failed. Unlucky for you, unlucky for some. Here we go. So as you can see, they're trying to find their zone. Oh, he's taking out one, and that is back to the blue team. They've got it all to play for. Here we go, slingshot. Blue team have got to come back. They've got the crown. They're going to hold off that red team as long as they possibly can. Let's see. Sometimes if there's a double kill as well, the crown will respawn randomly in the map. Okay, here we go. There we go, a bit of communication from the red team. Now we're going to start seeing if they've got anything to offer. There you go, Sons of Kessler are there, happy days. Here we go, red team are starting to pick up some points now. They're going to start catching up. Blue team have got to play for, they better start waking up and smelling the roses. Those crowns are there. Oh, here we go. Now, as you can see from that intel, those crowns appear on those dummies. Those are the lures that he's using now. Very clever move from the red team to hold on to the crown. Start a bit of distraction. Disorientation of the enemies. That's what we like to see. Use those tactics. Use those skills. Red team are starting to catch up. They better be careful, though. There's, there's not a lot of time left on that blue team if they get the crown. Come on. Let's keep it real. Blue team are on the hunt. Blue team are on the hunt. Come on. Get them down. Get them down. Get them down. Okay, let's see. I can see where they are, but blue team can only see the king. Here we go. He's going in for the kill. Boom! There we go. Blue oh, and he gets taken out straight away off the back. Red team have got the crown again. It's all to play for. 51, 52. It's counting up. It's counting up. Ooh, this one's tight. Straight on the slingshot, the red team. That's going to help him a lot, and he keeps those enemies at bay. Remember, that's a long... Oh, and he gets sniped in the end. Oh, my gosh, golly gosh. Blue team have taken the crown. And it's all to play for in this last couple of seconds, I think. 82, 83. Oh, the clock's ticking down. You better hurry up. Red team have got it all to play for. Now they better do something special. They've taken it at the last minute. 57, 58. It's counting, it's counting, it's counting. Ra oh, red team seem to be swarming. Here we go, red team. What are you doing? Come on. Red team have got the crown. They may catch up here. Come on, you better hold it. Get that energy boost up. Find your position. Oh, he's pulled out the shield, so he wants to deflect that, that pulse rifle from afar. Boom, sneaky, sneaky. Red team has stepped in the way. Will red team hold it? He's working well together. He's using those covers. Use those covers. Use those covers. There you go. Pick up some life. Pick up some love. Okay, he's holding that side. He's doing it. He's got it all. Play for it. Blue team. Oh, blue team have taken it. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Gosh, golly, gosh. Blue team have taken it away. It's all to play for, 89, 90. They better hurry up, you haven't got much time. Red team takes it out. Once again, blue team are dominating this game in the last five seconds. Are they gonna hold this position? Four, three, two, one. Ah, oh, the blue team win it! Well done, blue team. Ah, oh, it's not all off for the blue team today. They seem to have woken up in this second round, uh, but that's very kind of you. Well done, round of applause to all you guys. And now, for our grand finale, and it's all to play for. Whoever wins this will get one night and one night only with me. Aren't you lucky? Okay, so let's go. What are we going to do? We're going to do the free-for-all. This is intense. This is a frag fest, okay? Some people love it. Some people hate it. But it's a festival of frag. That's all we can say. We left it in because people like to shoot stuff and, and be very fanatic. Now, everyone takes their, their color. Uh, blue, red, green, and yellow. Let's see what happens. Okay, what are we playing in? No, 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 no. Free for all, Canyon. Okay, we'll show you one of the other maps. Like I said, there's six maps at launch. There's more to come after. Everyone's got their color. It's all to play for. Canyon Chase. This is a bit more open, a lot of windy, uh, uh, windy passageways, quite open spaces. So this is quite fun for long range weapons, but there's a couple of sneaky corridors in the rock surfaces that you'll play in this interplanetary canyon. Okay, here we go. Oh, they're straight into the frag fest. Let's go. I'm going to follow the greenie for the time being. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Boom, he's straight in there. He's coming down the red. He's got one frag, so he's already in the lead. Green team's already in the lead. What happens, it's first, second, third, fourth positions. You'll see that on the top right-hand side of my screen. 
Uh, basically, that will go. Oh, the Greek team's gone straight, but he's still in the lead. He's got two frags over the yellow team, so it's all to play for. It seems to be between the yellow team and the green team for now. Let's see what red and blue have to do, because at the moment, red team's not doing anything. I feel a bit bad for the red team again. He's just, he's just having a bad day. Let's go, red team. Okay, green team is still on the hunt. There he goes. He's taking him out again. Still taking a, taking a slight lead now with three ahead. He's two ahead, the yellow. Blue team isn't doing much either, so they better start playing. There you go. Red team's been taken out again. Oh, my Lord. Red team suffering at the hands of the green. Okay, he's hunt him down, hunt him down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Red team, here we go. Let's get that frag. Green, te green team's playing it smart at the moment. He's staying away from the trouble. Oh, the green team's gone down. But blue team has gone straight into second place. So let's see where he's at. Okay, blue team, let's see. Okay, there you are, blue team. Okie dokie. So red team's coming in now. He's got his shield. He's got his armor. He's taken out the green team straight, and he's put himself back into tide for a second position. Well done, red team. Here we go. He's just launched out his sonar. Can red team come back on the prowl? Be the predator, not the prey, gentlemen. Don't forget, hunt your enemies down and don't stop. There we go. It's all to play for. I love the way that this is the most quiet this dev team has ever been ever in, my, in this whole three years of making this game, I have to say. They're being very quiet and shy. Let's go, let's go. Where are you moving? Red team. Green team still got the lead. He's five to two. He, he's taking it all. He's taking it all. Red team's gone again. I think I'm going to follow the green guy. Oh, blue team's gone again. Oh, no. Green team's back on the prowl. He's, he's head by six to three. He's three in the lead. Come on. Come on, guys. There we go. Yellow's coming back on the prowl. That's what we want to see. Mellow yellow. Go, go, go. Oh, red team's been taken out. I can't even go to red team. Every time I go to him, he gets fragged. So let me stay away from the red team for the time being. He was just starting to build up his root rhythm and pace. Yellow team's gone out as well. Green team is just paying, paying everyone. Every price, every price. Okay, get them points, gentlemen. Green team's getting the points. And he's getting the prizes again. He's taking a four-point lead. Oh, my Lord. I don't know if there's any coming back from this. I can tell you he's making you suffer. There we go. Here we go. Now it's all to play for once again. He's rolling through these maps. Blue team's still in second place. Let's see what he can do. Take that slingshot. That's the green. There's a little slingshot. Look at him, baby. Oh, he's so scary. Oh, he's going to shoot someone. There we go. He's going to go on the prowl. Let's see what he's got. Long range, long range, long range. I can see he's ironing up his line of sight straight on the red team. Boom, there's one. He takes out one, takes out the second. That's what we like to see. Green team's still at four points ahead. I think it's very tough for those guys to come and catch back. Blue team might have a chance if he hurries up. Let's see what blue team's doing at the moment. Oh, he's dying. <laughs> Yellow team's dying as well. There you go, blue team. Let's go after you. Everyone's dying. There we go. Blue team's on the prowl. Blue team's coming back. He's on the hunt. He's on the hunt. He's got to hunt those frags. He's got it all to play for. I think he can do this. Blue team's done it before. There we go. He's on the move. He's on the move. Oh, blue team. Ah, oh, blue team. He was on the prowl, but that's okay. He's only three points behind, and there's still one minute to play. He can pull this out the bag. He's got it all to play for. I'm going to come on. He's second. Let's see what you got. Tie for third of the yellow and the red. Green is still far ahead, and he's got the sniper rifle. Oh, and he's paid the fiddler once again. Oh, my lordy me. Green team's doing it. He's doing the damage. He's still got that plasma rifle. Oh, and he's been taken out. Nice. Yellow team picks up third place. Red team's still tied. And we're back to number two, blue. Number two for blue. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Red team's coming back into the game. Yellow team's being taken out by the blue. And blue team's on the prowl, but he's got, he hasn't got much life left, and he's straight out of the action. I think, I think with 30 seconds left, green team is just going to stand by and let the games begin. Come on, green team. A couple more frags. Let's see what he can do. See if he can get to that magical number. Red team's being taken out once again. Oh, there we go. Blue team's taking the kill. He's not letting that lie. He wouldn't let it lie. Red team's still on the hunt. Is he on the hunt? And he's been taken out by the blue team. Blue team's come back to 10. He's in second place with six seconds left. He needs one frag. He needs one frag and he's tied for first place. Oh my gosh, golly gosh. How did the blue team do that? I can't even believe it. Blue team came. Oh my lordy me. They're tied for first place. Blue and green team. I think they won't be happy with that, but I'm very happy with that and it's very good for you. Very cool, gentlemen. That's brilliant free for all. Love it, love it, love it. Let's go back to the lobby. Just to wrap up, 
Obviously, navigation weapons, that's just giving you a snapshot of what's going on in the game. Best way to learn is to play. So get in there. It's live now. Go get it on Oculus Rift. Go get it on PSVR. Go get it on everything. And then we'll start playing with you, playing with us. Have a look at our Discord. Everyone's cool. Go to, uh, now we're going to talk to you about a couple things that are coming up. Very important, very important. Um, the VR League, the ESL, the VR League is starting 14th of April. Warm-up event on the 31st of March. So go now, vrleague.com. Very important that you register. It's all to play for. It's a new game. You can still play. You can still win it all. Come and play. Come and sign up. Get going. Get rolling. Get into space spaces. Uh, also, a big thank you to the VR Athletics League uh, for Upside and Mindout, who ran a tournament in local arcades around the world. Uh, fortunately for us, the Montpellier Upside guys won the event. Very cool. Uh, so go have a look. EU finalists. European Union finalists, wonderful. It's amazing. It was an amazing thing to watch. The competition is heating up. Get in there, practice, get into the tournament, get to the VRLeague.com, and we will start playing for prizes. Rock and roll, everyone. Thank you so much. That's been brilliant. Uh, I really enjoyed that. If you have any other questions, right now what I can show you is this is the lobby. They're showing in Tolima. I'm being told, Val. <laughs> well, that was an amazing event, Val. Wow. It's been brilliant. Dans ce jeu, on peut se déplacer en trois dimensions, donc en haut, en bas, comme à droite et à gauche. Donc ça change vraiment, on va dire, des FPS classiques. Je trouve vraiment que ce jeu est lié au e-sport. Donc il y a vraiment beaucoup d'action, on se tire, on va chercher, enfin on vole, etc. Yes Bien joué, mec Alors mon perso, ça va être le buzz kill, c'est le plus rapide mais le plus faible. Il faut bouger très vite mais tu te fais très très vite tuer. Du coup, mon personnage préféré, c'est euh, le crabe. Parce que du coup il a un peu plus de vitesse que la normale. Je suis plus dans le combat euh, rapproché et je joue beaucoup aussi sur les esquives. Donc euh, ça permet de pouvoir pas mal esquiver, d'avoir un peu plus de vitesse que la norme. Je préférais jouer un personnage rapide parce que j'aime bien chercher les ennemis et directement aller bah, vers les armes en premier. C'est mieux d'arriver avec un fusil à pompe qu'avec un pistolet devant l'adversaire en premier. Alors moi mon arme préférée c'est le skin shot. Elle a un dégât vraiment monstrueux, sa ça, ça portée est incroyable. Je vais surtout être sur cette arme là. Euh, mon arme préféré sur le jeu, ça reste le fils sniper. On peut faire de beaux trucs avec eux. On rigole bien, même avec les équipes adverses. On discute à chaque fois dans le lobby, donc c'est l'endroit, le hall. Donc c'est vraiment, vraiment super. On n'a pas beaucoup de jeux e-sport qui se développent pour l'instant en réalité virtuelle. Space Junkie, je pense que ça va être des, des précurseurs par rapport à ça. Devant la pression, si jamais on perd, on est éliminé, etc. De, de se voir grimper les échelons au fur et à mesure, on ne sait pas quand ça va s'arrêter, on a juste envie que ça continue, c'est super. Du coup, la prochaine, pour ma part, je me suis direct. Absolument, oui, c'est tout ce que j'ai à dire. Totalement, bien sûr. À aucun moment, on n'hésite pas. Direct. Okay, so that's it. So as you can see, our Val champions there, you saw a little video. They were amazing, very incredible. Thank you to all the spaces that played, take, put, took part today in this stream. Thank you very much. A round of applause for you. You guys rock. You guys are amazing. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, everyone who participated in the alpha, the beta. You helped us get this game done. You helped us get this game out. We want you to have lots of fun. Come and see you in space. Get in space today. Go download the game. Go get your console rolling. And let's get... Into space jackies! Thank you very much and goodbye!